Uh, got a great, great video here. This is a quick tutorial on how you can create million dollar creatives. And these creatives are such that they can generate for your business millions in revenue. All right. So just quickly recapping on our previous content on the channel here. So again, uh, most people look at generating attention, right, from different types of social media platforms being Instagram, being Facebook, being TikTok, right? And these are all platforms to generate attention, but not really platforms to create quick cash flow, right? Because you need to nurture people, right? So here are usually the two top two methods that we really use for our clients being firstly organic growth, right? So that gets really new eyeballs to the brand. It really helps people to really look at the brand, right? And also ads, obviously, so once you're scaling, right, when you're scaling a company past 20, 30, 40K per month, and you want to hit those 100, 200, 300K per month mark, then definitely you need to start implementing ads. So again, ads wouldn't be really restricted on one platform. It would be throughout many platforms, right? So again, this would be mainly meta ads. It would be your TikTok, your Snap, your Google ads, right? And yeah, but again, the major question is all these platforms of organic growth and ads really work only if you have the right creative, right? So the creative is actually the most important asset that you can build for your business, right? So usually people just uh, click a few product shoots, maybe get it done for two, $300 or they head out to a studio and they expect that that's going to really build them a good creative, right? When actually it's the most important metric in terms of your online store, because it's really what drives engagement and it drives people to look at your brand and really care about your brand, right? So if the first impression of a viewer onto your brand is just uh, something, right? Which is not really rock solid and which is not really uh, portraying the brand's message and portraying what the brand's really about, then you're not going to get sales down the funnel, right? And yeah, so that's the reason why I decided to make this video on how to really create million dollar creatives, right? And yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, this, if you do not know, is the internet marketing tree. So many brands actually just focus a lot on all these different uh, metrics, right. Or on all these different marketing channels being email marketing, uh, SEM, SEO, PPC, uh, SMM, PR online advertising, but what really drives the conversion or what really drives the maximum potential from each of these platforms, right? So let's quickly talk about online advertising, SMM, and yeah, just those two, right? The other metrics we are not specialized in, so I wouldn't be talking about them, right? So for SMM, that's your social networks and online advertising being ad networks, your creative is the most important metric, right? So in order for you to drive quality sales and recurring sales, right? You need to have creatives that can really bring out that brand message, right? So usually, the creative drives engagement and then to keep that attention and to convert it into sales, you would need to drive traffic from your Instagram stories, from your ads and from your email and SMS marketing, because this could be even people who are subscribed to your newsletter, right? And you drive all of them to your website, right? And then that's where you make sales, right? So I've actually created a quick tutorial that can actually teach you how to create these million dollar creatives, right? And I regularly update this as well. So you can always go ahead and find this right in the description. You can always use this link and come back to it. I'm going to leave the document link in the description so you can actually check what this has in terms of what's working right now. Right? So I've actually gone ahead and created this uh, document of around seven pages, right? Um, Right. So let me quickly take you through it and show you what million dollar creatives actually look like. Right. So you would benefit from this entire tutorial if you're someone running a brand. Right. 
and uh, this channel really attracts the highest quality e-commerce stores we do not really attract those who are just doing uh, drop shipping for the quick buck right because the longer you look at the the larger the horizon you look at the more benefit and the more ROI you're going to get from investing in these assets up front right so yeah uh, quickly taking you through it so f- obviously the first first 3 to 5 seconds are the most important right and i've actually uh, given you a few examples here as well that you can really understand what it means to have the first 3 to 5 seconds right so right so you can see here that was the first 5 seconds right so you can see how it's giving a message of revolutionize your room right and at the same time it's also showing the transformation that the user got from using the product right so obviously down the video you can see way more users you can see a lot more going on but no one really will watch the entire video if they don't watch the first 3 seconds right if they watch the first 3 seconds and they see that your brand is not communicating that transformation or that burst in energy and uh really bringing out the brand value and really bringing out how this product or service can really revolutionize the way they are currently doing their day to day activities or how your product can be implemented into their life they are not going to they are not going to purchase right they are not going to even watch the rest of the video let alone purchase right so yeah that's one video another video is here right this is a more ugc style content video right right so over there in the first 5 seconds itself you can see how there was one visual two visuals uh three visuals and the fourth visual right so within the first 5 seconds they have already qualified people who are looking to really get their teeth cleaned right get white teeth right so you can see here again this is a transformation right they're showing you what could be possible from using their product right the first 2 to 3 seconds are just con- it's just really communicating what the transformation the consumer can get from using the product right and then again showcasing the product right and also using also showing you what is in the box right so obviously that goes through the rest of the creative right and at the end they actually have a cta right the learn more button so usually it's either learn more or shop now right those are the ctas usually for ads on facebook right and yeah again so you can see you will going to quickly dive through the analysis of the ad as well right so it's not again just the ad creative right so the ad creative again could be really really good but what also drives a more compounding and a snowball effect is what really is the comment section looking like right are people actually even uh, getting replies to their questions or they're getting their faqs answered in the uh in the comments right and yeah so again so you can see they are actually replying to every single comment that they're getting and another quick way to actually drive engagement is to actually ask people to share their before after pictures right so if they've already used the product right you can also ask them to share their before after pictures in the comment section that also serves as social proof for your new customers seeing the same ad right and yeah so that's pretty much it so again you can see here they're actually driving everyone to really try their product in the comment section right so yeah uh that's another thing to notice right so coming back over here you see the last 3 to 5 seconds again are really important so if you go to the last 3 to 5 seconds you will see that they are actually using the the last 3 to 5 seconds to get a cta from the video so this helps people to know where they're going to find the product so if they've watched that far in the video of over 20 25 seconds you know that they have some sort of interest in knowing more about what this product can get them right and how they can get it where they're going to get it the pricing everything so that's when you offer them to go 
to your website, right? You click the shop now button and then they'll be redirected to your website where they can get more details on how to purchase, shipping times, etc. right? Uh, same thing with this one, right? So at the end, they say learn more or shop now. Either ways, they get a CTA to go to your website, right? So that's just one type of creative, one types of creatives, right? Uh, next up, so we actually have like creatives from all different types of industries, right? So this entire document just really shows you the ad libraries as well as the ad posts that are really converting already, right? So this, this brand is not running ads anymore. Let me try this, right? So anyways, um, but yeah, you can see what the creative is even over here, right? Right, so that's just the first five seconds, right? So every time in the first five seconds, if you can communicate the before and after of the product, that's really gonna communicate value. And it's also gonna help with retention of the entire video, right? So yeah, that's just a few creatives, right? And you can also see the reasoning as to why this kind of UGC actually worked, right? So provide a solution to the problem. The first, the first five seconds are really, really important. And uh, it really needs to show how the product works plus UGC plus shocking, right? So a shocking difference on what your product can really bring to the market is what's needed in the first five seconds. And the last five seconds needs your CTA to your website, right? Where the customers can actually find your product, right? So you can go through each of these Right, but I'm gonna quickly take you through what and how to actually use these million dollar creatives, right? So we actually created a creative for our client last year in the month of August, right? And that creative was just created once, right? But we have been scaling that creative with crazy amounts of ad spend, right? So almost a thousand dollars in ad spend through that one creative and over the past one year that one creative has generated almost 650k in revenue for our client right and that tells you the power of actually just getting one rock solid creative which can actually convert but to actually get to that creative we had to create tons of creatives right so your first creative is not going to be a winner creative but if you stick at it if you are consistent enough if you know what metrics to look at, how to place the video, how to uh, display the product in its best light, you can start creating million dollar creatives, right? So again, uh, multiple evergreen creatives are needed. So that one creative is actually an evergreen creative. So it's a creative for a specific product on that store and it's actually running for the entire year, right? So we never actually turn off that creative maybe we change the campaign objective or we just change the placements but the creative really stays the same right and that's why it keeps working and these are usually going to be high roi creatives right so you could use that same creative for like a year two years three years until maybe you stop selling that product really right and it's going to generate you millions in revenue right and the second type of creative is actually seasonal creative. So these creatives are really creatives that you would use just at Christmas time or just during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday uh, time of the year. And these creatives again can generate you those millions, but they are used at maybe a one week time span once a year, right? Or even the Christmas sale ones, those are used usually for around two weeks prior to Christmas, right? So those are pre-Christmas sale uh, creatives. And sometimes some of those are during the Christmas phase, right? But again, during the Christmas phase, the ad bids and things are really skyrocketing. So I would recommend do not really advertise during that span. You could maybe bump up the ad spend before Christmas to really ensure that people get their gifts before Christmas, right? And yeah, the other third type of creative that would be needed would be in one-off sale campaigns, right? So over here, what really happens is it, the ROI is really low, right? So if you have not planned out how you're gonna use a creative, right? And if it's, you're creating it for a one-off campaign, 
the ROI is going to be pretty low because you will just use it once and you can never use that creative again, right? If it's like a one-off sale or if it's something that doesn't repeat every year, then technically you have you have a low ROI from that. Maybe even if you spend let's say $200, $300 for that one creative, you may generate around 20, 30, 40K, 50K from that one creative over a week, but there's no really repetitive ROI coming in from that, right? So I wouldn't really recommend using one-off sale campaigns, uh, creatives for one-off sale campaigns. You could obviously layer in that same uh, creative, that UGC style content creative, potentially with other sales through the year, right? So sometimes there are sales that, uh, there are sales, there are uh, seasonal types of sales that come in every month throughout the year. So you could have potentially a winning creative from one promo in the month of January or February, and then use that creative uh, with different language for different promos throughout the year on different months, right? And that can also see a very uh, high ROI. It's pretty much mixing the evergreen and mixing the seasonal types of creatives, right? Now, yeah, so again, I've shared more examples over here. So you can go through them, you can check them out, right? And uh, yeah, again, just a conclusion on the entire video, right? So a great ad creative is just a combination of what's clear to understand, clear and easy to understand. And it also views the, it also shows you the product and shows you how you can benefit, the consumer can benefit from actually using the product, right? And yeah, they also have, uh, they also show you what, how the product works. They also show you the social proof through the UGC content and also helps you build credibility and uh, yeah, so mainly again, it's the first five seconds without that, uh, the foundation is not really set for the entire video. Now it's all right. Uh, if you're really looking to get these kinds of creatives done, these are the places you can actually get them done, right? So I've linked, uh, a few Fiverr places you can get them done. This is also band of ads. They're really, really good for e-commerce based ads, right? And below is also a really good example of some place you can actually get your creatives created from. It's more of UGC style content. And uh, usually their creatives start at a pricing of around, uh, I think $60 per creative. And they go up to, I believe a hundred dollars, right? Per creative. But the ROI, as you have seen, is insanely high, right? You can use it year on year or as an evergreen creative and generate millions, right? If you're asking, and if you want to create these kinds of UGC by yourself, you can use Animoto, pretty good software, or you can use iMovie if you're on a Mac, right? And yeah, in the end, testing is the key, right? So if you're really creating those creators by yourself, you really need to test a ton. Uh, you need to test your hook. You need to test the first three seconds. You need to show that transformation in its best light. Also remember, you would need to create your creative in two formats, right? So you can choose either one, preferably four by five along with nine by 16, right? So four by five works really, really well, usually because it takes up more screen real estate. So your creative appears bigger on your customer's screen. Right. And that's honestly where 90% of sales come from. Right. No one really buys from their desktop or laptop anymore. So yeah, guys, like that's pretty much it. Uh, the video starting, as you've seen, you know what to do now. I can definitely tell that if you watch this far in the video, you're potentially going to become a client of ours someday in the future. But the point is you need to get value from this. And that's exactly what I've shared through this video. Right. So as I said, like you can either, if you're in the drop shipping, which I don't really think many brands watching this are from drop shipping, but you could potentially use YouTube as a good source for starting your videos. If you're a more beginner sort of brand, but again, you can only emulate the type of video. Do not really copy someone else's video. 
and yeah, if you're looking to really get this done for uh, yourself, your brand, right? So you can obviously book in a call on my Calendly link here and we can take you through it. Again, there's no pressure. It really depends. If you're really looking to take it to the next level, we can help you with really getting the creators, uh, launching it on ads, scheduling everything for your socials and yeah, just scaling your brand uh, with omnipresence, right? So yeah, hope this video really helped you guys. 